Hi everyone. Today's talk is called, What kind of soil are you? When Jesus taught the people all about God's kingdom, he expected them to respond to him in different ways, depending on what their hearts were like. Jesus made that clear one day by telling a story about a farmer going out and sowing his seeds. And it comes from Matthew chapter 13, the farmer's seeds. Jesus liked to tell the people stories. His stories had special meanings. One day he told this story. Once there was a farmer. He went to his field to sow his seeds. He scattered the seeds here and there. Now, some of the seeds fell on the path. The birds flew down and ate those seeds. Some of the seeds fell in rocky dirt. They sprouted, but there were too many rocks. The roots could not grow and get water. So when the sun grew hot on them, they died. Some seeds fell where there were weeds. The seeds sprouted, but the weeds grew bigger and crowded them out. Other seeds fell into good dirt. There were no weeds or rocks. They settled deep into the dirt where no birds could get them. And they grew and grew and grew. The people wondered about this story. What does it mean? They asked Jesus. And Jesus told them. The seed is the news about God. The birds and weeds and rocks are like some people's hearts. They hear God's word, but they have their hearts on other things. They do not understand. They do not love God and follow him. But the good dirt is like the hearts of people who do understand. They love God. God's love grows in their hearts, like a beautiful, healthy plant. Now the seed, and I have some, they're so tiny, in Jesus' story stood for the truth that God loves us and has made for a way for us to come into his kingdom. The different soils in Jesus' story stood for the different kinds of hearts within people. As I tell you about these different hearts, I want to, you to ask yourself the question, what kind of heart do I have? Now, some of the seeds in Jesus' story fell onto very hard soil, just like this. The seed simply lay on top of the soil because the soil was so hard and the birds came and took it away. The kind of heart that this soil represents is someone who doesn't believe one when they hear what Jesus says about God's love. This person may make fun of the name of Jesus. They may be rather cynical about the message of God's love. They may sneer when we try to share our faith with them and pull a face a bit like this. They have a heart of unbelief. Some of the seeds in Jesus' story fell upon some very shallow soil that was covering rocks. There is only a thin layer of soil in the pot because most of it is taken up with stones. Because the seeds were only in a thin layer of soil, when they started to grow up into plants, their roots couldn't go deep. When the sun came up, the plants weathered and died. 
The kind of heart that this soil represents is someone who shows interest in Jesus and starts to follow him, but when trouble comes along because of their faith, they give up. This person doesn't want to suffer for their faith. They don't want to be called names at school or to be given a hard time at work. So when that starts to happen, they quickly give up following Jesus. Their face, when they face trouble, might look a bit like this one. Some of the seeds in Jesus' story fell upon soil that was also growing something else in it. As the seed grows into plants, so brambles grow up around and choke them, so they can't become fruitful. This kind of heart that this soil represents is someone who is a follower of Jesus, but who is also constantly distracted from following him. They may be distracted by different sorts of worries, or they may be distracted by wanting more and more money or things. The problem with being constantly distracted is that they struggle to follow Jesus and bear good fruit. Their face when they are worried or distracted might look a bit like this one. And lastly, some of the seed in Jesus' story fell upon good soil. As the seeds grew, they produced a huge crop. They were really fruitful. The kind of heart that this soil represents is someone who receives Jesus' message. They don't give up when the going gets tough. They don't allow themselves to get distracted from following Jesus. And so they are fruitful. Their face might look a bit like this one. Receives. Now, I wonder how you have answered my question. What kind of heart do you have? If you want a heart that is more able to receive Jesus' message, why not ask him to give that to you today? I've got peace, love.